Hello everyone and welcome back to the Road to Cricket Glory guys career mode in Career Captain 2020 with New Zealand and here today we are at the SCG taking on Ireland in the T20 World Cup in 2020 the semi-final we know that South Africa beat Pakistan and they are through to the final we are taking on Ireland in the semi-final guys it is very nerve-wracking times that is for sure we are going to bring back glenn phillips we think as cypher did get 19 but he's i don't know i really don't know i honestly don't know they're both kind of out of form i'm going to back glenn phillips purely because he's actually done okay 16 26 and 6 he hasn't hit over 31, Seifert, and Glenn Phillips has hit 37, so it's hard to tell, it really is, guys, I don't really know, but Glenn Phillips we are going to go with. In the T20 World Cup semi-final, we are going with Glenn Phillips, probably more for the keeping than anything else at this stage. No changes to the lineup once again. Jimmy Neesham is struggling with a little bit of form, but nonetheless, I don't think we can really replace him. Nerve-wracking time, guys, that is for sure. We are taking on Ireland. In the T20 World Cup semi-final, can New Zealand make the T20 World Cup final for possibly the first time? I don't think we've made the T20 World Cup final before, but, but I guess anyway, let's hope we can make it. We are taking on Ireland. Ireland will be looking to make their first T20 World Cup final after this is their first T20 World Cup semi-final. So, can we defeat Ireland? Or will Ireland defeat us in this knockout match and knock us out of the World Cup and make their first T20 World Cup final. Let us find out today, guys. Here we go. All right, we are here. It is confirmed the teams are in. They've got Paul Sterling, Annie Bob, they've got Balburnie, Delaney, O'Brien, Simi Singh, who's been doing very well bat and ball, William Porterfield, Wilson, Adair, Kane, Gurkat, and young and we've got the same 11 that we've kind of been going with the whole time the only change we've made is uh Seifert is out and Glenn Phillips is back in the lineup according to the stars we should win the game but I really there's been enough upsets in this T20 World Cup we do not need to talk about those stars at all Kane calls heads and wins the toss and on this occasion once again we're gonna bowl first we're gonna chase in this T20 World Cup semi-final Trent Bolt will start us off here we go the semi-final action is underway. Catch dropped. Ross Taylor at first slip. That could be a big, big miss. Balburnie edges it straight to Ross Taylor. A low grab, but he can't hang on. Jameson to Balburnie. Down leg. Jameson to Balburnie again. Oh, just over for four. Picked up nicely. Oh, good shot. Three extra cover. That's four more from Balburnie. Trent Bolt to Paul Sterling. Off the back foot. It's a direct hit, and it will not matter. Bolt to Balburnie. Pulled away, but it's four. Okay start for New Zealand. No wickets, though. Jamieson to Sterling. Down leg. Jamieson to Sterling again. Oh, my goodness me. I, I thought I was bowling him. He's gone straight, and he's gone straight for four. Gee, I tell you what, it's been pretty good for Ireland. Trent Bolt will bowl his third. Outside off. Got him! The first wicket of the T20 World Cup semi-final. Trent Bolt cleans up Balburnie. A much needed wicket. Thought it was wider than it was, but it swung back late. Jameson on to bowl. Delaney to the crease. Paul Sterling. Edged and taken though! Paul Sterling gone for 16 of 14. Glenn Phillips with the catch. Jimmy Neesham strikes. Kevin O'Brien. Has he feathered it? No. How about this time? No. How about this time? No. Three swings and misses. Nothing to write about though. Mitchell Satner, the best T20 spin bowler in the world at the moment, comes to the attack and he's got a wicket. First delivery. Delaney departs for a second ball duck. Simi Singh to the crease. He is the key wicket for New Zealand. Oh, that's a good shot. Bit outside edge-ish. Bit of an outside edge, but it goes for four, and he's gone, though! Mitchell Satner strikes back straight away. Singh gone for four. Satner has two wickets in his first over. Porterfield now to the crease, and he's gone! For a second ball duck. What is going on? Mitch Satner's got three for in his first over. You beauty, Mitchell Satner. 
Ireland, 40 for five now. Are in all sorts of strife. Satna, 47 for five is the score. Outside the line, that's another great over. Jimmy Neesham to Kevin O'Brien. And it's pulled away nicely. It beats Square Eagle before. This is a good over against Jimmy Neesham. Surely Satna gets the slip in because he is on fire. Satna to Wilson. Oh, okay. Smashes over mid-wicket for six. Neesham to Wilson. Cut away. It'll be six over cover. What a shot. 79 for five. Ireland recovering nicely, but there's a lot of work to be done. J Jameson and Ferguson still to bowl. Yet another one. Mitchell Satna gets Wilson for 23 of 18. Mark Adair to the crease now. Surely he gets a T20 World Cup. Pfeiffer. No. Last ball of a spell. It's a six. Jimmy Neesham has bowled out. Four for 25 from Mitchell Satner. And one for 27 from Neesham with a maiden snuck in there as well. And our three best bowlers now to bowl. Ireland are in a heap of trouble, you would think. Ferguson to Adair. And he's knocked him over. Thank you very much. First delivery of his spell. Look at this again. Bad stroke. I don't think so. That is what you call a beauty of a ball. Kane to the crease. And he's gone for a first ball duck. Patrick ball. But no, he leaves it and leaves the rest of the over. He does. Jameson returns. 8 for 87. All on Kevin O'Brien. But he hits that away. It'll be four. Lockie Ferguson to Gurkat. That's a good shot down the ground. It could be four. And it is. And he steals the strike as well. The field goes out for Kevin O'Brien. He drives it down the ground. And it'll be four. Lockie Ferguson comes around the wicket to Kevin O'Brien. Oh, plays and misses. Leg side, he hits this. Beats the fielder for four more. Trimbolt comes around for his last. And gets a wicket. He gets Gurkat for 12 of 22. It's Young now left to the crease. 119 for nine. Oh, through him. Gone. I don't know why Kevin O'Brien took the single, but he does. And Young's gone for a second ball duck. Ireland all out for 120 in the T20 World Cup semi-final. Mitchell Satner, 4 for 25. Lockie Ferguson, 3 for 13. Nisha, 1 for 27. None for 34 from Jameson. 2 for 21 from Bolt. Exceptional stuff from New Zealand. Just 6 and over needed. 6 and over needed to begin the chase. Guttel. Edged and gone though. Oh no, a deer strikes in the first over. Kane Williamson to the crease, off a golden duck, but he drives that past point for four runs. Craig Young now to Phillips, and he smashes it straight for four. And off the back foot through extra cover for four more. Adair to Williamson, cut away for four. He's the key bowler for them. It's a bit of an outside edge, but it goes for four again. Young, one off the over. Phillips goes leg side, he's going to get four. Kane around the wicket again, and he's got him. Again, just when you thought Glenn Phillips might have got out of his hole, he's got himself out, pitching in line and hitting the wickets. Two wickets down, 88 still needed. Kane, oh, flashes it, but he gets four. Whips this leg side, it'll be four. 46 for two after the first six overs. The power play is now complete. Kane Williamson is the key man for them right now, but he gets another four. Kane cuts this away in the gap for four more. 5.2 needed. Conway now. Edged and taken. What a catch that is from Wilson. Oh, no. Conway, he's gone for seven. Tensions are starting to rise here, I would say, because we're just not comfortable leaving this down to the last moment. Kane's gone too for 38 of 30. And this game is on. Oh, shot from Chapman. That's four off the back foot. Need more of that. And again off the back foot for four more. 48 needed in the last nine overs. Simi Singh to the crease and he's the key man for them. And he gets Chapman for eight. Oh, dear me. This is not good news for New Zealand. Gurkat to Nisham. Cuts it away for four. Simi Singh is not the player we want to be holding him, him, them, 
Oh, I just can't believe they've held him back for so long. I really cannot. 85 for 5. Taylor gets a short one. He cuts it for 6. What a shot. Still 30 needed, though. Again, off the back foot. What a shot from Ross Taylor. Four more. Adair returns, and he bowls exceptionally well. This could be interesting finish here. This could be an interesting finish in the T20 World Cup semi-final. Down leg. Simi Singh to Ross Taylor. Tosses it up. Ross Taylor cuts for four. Pressure is on. 16 off 24. Doesn't feel as simple as that, though. Nishim. Down the ground. It'll be four. 12 needed. 10 needed. Nishim. Hits this off the back foot. It's going to be cover for four. Six needed off the next three overs. Six off 17. Simi Singh to Ross Taylor now. And he's gone, though. Six off 16 needed. Mitchell Satner. Down leg. Six off 15. Mitchell Satner. Oh, jeepers. I think that's a wicket maiden in the 18th over. Six off 12. Six off 11. Six off 10. Five off nine. New Zealand. Four off eight. Boundary needed. Cannot hit it. Three off six and required. And he's gone. What is going on? Three needed. And he's gone. Three or four. Trent Bolt. He hits it for four and that's the match. Oh my goodness me. No way. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. That was, that was an adrenaline filled match, guys. Ireland nearly defend 120 runs in the T20 World Cup semi-final. And after all of that drama, New Zealand scrape across the line through a Trent Bolt boundary to make the T20 World Cup final, guys. Would you believe it? Mitchell Satner, the player of the match, 4 for 25, stands up in the big game. And after an intense semi-final, New Zealand make the T20 World Cup final. Let's just go through the scorecard, guys. Kevin O'Brien, the really the savior of Ireland's game there, 43 not out of 36. And it turned out to nearly be a match-winning knock there. Carried their innings from 5 for 39, even from 6 for 80 to 120 all out. Mitchell Satner. 4 for 25, exceptional figures there. 3 for 13 for Ferguson at the end there. Nisha bowled extremely well in the middle, and Jameson and Bolt kind of finished things off for us. Martin Guptill gone for just one, and with Comey gone for seven and Chapman for eight, it really put pressure on Phillips, Kane, and Ross Taylor. And nearly, with their wickets at the wrong time, we nearly choked at the death once more. As with three to win in the last over, New Zealand panicked after... Nisham was LBW, then Kyle Jamieson was LBW for a golden duck, and then Trent Bolt had to come in and smash a four over mid on. Simi Singh, 2 for 23. Gurkat, 1 for 26. 2 for 25 for Kane, none for 25 for Young, 3 for 23 for Adair. I tell you what, guys, if Ireland continue this manner in, their, in this career mode, they will be a force to be reckoned with in the future because that is a seriously good bowling attack that they've just managed to really string together and pull together at the right time and have managed to nearly upset New Zealand in the T20 World Cup semi-final. But nonetheless, New Zealand make the T20 World Cup final, guys, and we are here. As you can see, we have made it. We are taking on South Africa in the next game at Adelaide. Our first time at the Adelaide Oval in this career mode is going to be the grand finale, the T20 World Cup final, taking on South Africa, the other informed team in this competition, as they beat Pakistan in their semi-final to qualify. But guys, that is going to be it. From this action-packed episode, guys, if you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server or hit the post notification bell to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below from the episode, guys. What were your thoughts on this thrilling match, guys? Did you expect that to happen? Did you expect Ireland to nearly upset New Zealand in the last over? And did you expect Trent Bolt to hit that four over mid on? Or did you think we were going to lose the match? I certainly thought we were going to lose the match at one stage there. 
Otherwise, guys, let me know whether you think New Zealand will get up against South Africa in the grand final in the next episode, guys, and who you think is going to be the leading run scorer for the final and the leading wicket taker. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. And any other comments at all would be greatly appreciated as well. I read them all. Otherwise, I will see you all next time, guys. Goodbye for now.